Sarah Gore all through until 7 o'clock this evening. In this hour of the programme, we hear how plans for a whole new rail line to London take a new step. We'll speak live to the Sussex MP who today met the Transport Secretary. President Trump bans all Assyrian refugees and suspends the entry of nationals from seven Muslim-majority countries. We report on why protests have come to Sussex and 10,000 people signed a petition calling for the government to intervene and save the Sussex Beacon. More on those stories on the way. BBC Sussex Drive with Sarah Gorrell. Top story this afternoon, a second Brighton main line to London through Lewis and Uckfield has taken another step forward. Lewis MP Maria Caulfield has met the Transport Secretary and the consortium involved in developing the alternative route. Chris Grayling will make the final decision. Well, today Maria's been discussing the benefits of the scheme, which would see rail lines restored, as well as new railway and tunnels built, resulting in a second line to Canary Wharf and Stratford International. Maria joins me on the line now. Maria, thank you for joining us on the programme. Good evening. So, more talking today. Has much been achieved? Well, I think it was the first meeting, really, of the consortium with the Secretary of State uh, to really go over the, the plans in detail. So, it was a very positive meeting, and I think we were all agreed, uh, Simon Kirby, the MP for Brighton, Kemp Town, and Ms. Ragani, the MP for Wildham, was also there. Um, and we all agreed how desperately we need uh, more rail infrastructure in our part of the country. Um, and you know, given the months of misery we've had um, over, you know, since long before Christmas, a second rail main line would make a huge difference to commuters. Um, and it was a very positive meeting in terms of, um, you know, there was questions from the Secretary of State. He needs to get some reassurance that the consortium can deliver, but also the consortium needs to have some answers as well um, from the Department of Transport too. And I understand there are, you know, this consortium, there are now financial backers. Yeah, so the consortium really are putting a proposal on the table to develop the what we call the Brighton Main Line 2, which is reopening the Lewis to Upfield line, uh, which is putting Seaford and Newhaven on a, a main line rather than a branch line. And we'll see trains going directly into Canary Wharf um, from the Sussex coast and into Upfield and, uh, and along Kent. Um, so the consortium are prepared to look at funding that whole line and also project man managing and delivering that line. So it's a huge undertaking. And so quite a lot of work needs to be done for both sides to be reassured that, that, that this is going to to actually take take place. But in terms of time scale, you know, what, what happens now? How long before we, we're likely to see this? So the, the next stage really is to do some uh, some detailed work now in terms of the actual physical line to see what's feasible and how much that's really going to cost. And that work's going to be take undertaken over the next six months. Um, uh, if the consortium are happy with that and the Department of Transport are happy with the results of that, then work could start quite quickly. And, and listening to the consortium, um, that would be towards the Sussex end of, of the development because um, a lot of it ties in with what's happening in London around the Crossrail project. Um, and obviously that's still on ongoing. Um, so it would be the Sussex end that would start first. But, you know, it is all dependent on the, um, the detailed plans and the detailed studies that are now going to be to be looked at. Um, quite an interesting email has come in from Bob saying, uh, how can they run another railway line when they can't run the one that they've got? So I suppose that's the point, isn't it? Thinking about our thousands of rail users and their families all trapped in this cycle of disputes on Southern. What do you think your meeting's done for them today? Well, it's given them an another option because I completely agree. The current main line um, is uh, really uh, not fit for purpose in terms of its structure. Uh, it's an old line. It's not been invested in for decades. And half the delays long before the dispute were down to network rail issues of poor signalling, faults, um, uh, points failures, track failures. Um, and that's simply because that line is so old and overused. Um, you can't take it out of service to do the work that's really needed to be done because it's the only rail main line in and out of Sussex. And so this line would not only give extra capacity, but it would enable the current main line to be um, upgraded as well in the long term. So this is why it's so important that we have this second line because, um, you know, the current main line, we all know what a headache it is and how vulnerable it is. Uh, if anything happens to that line, we're, we're literally stranded from the rest Ooh. of the country. So it sounds as if you left today's meeting feeling quite optimistic about the, the potential for this. Yeah, absolutely. When there's no firm promises made until the, the detailed work that's now going to be undertaken is undertaken, um, and they reckon that will take uh, around six months, six to nine months, um, and once the consortium is happy with the work that they, they've done and it gives them the results they need uh, to uh, give them the confidence to invest in that line, um, then they say that things could happen uh, pretty quickly. And I think all, all around the table want this to happen. Maria, thank you.
Thank you very much indeed for joining us on the programme.